And welcome back to Sports Talk with Sam Watkins on the Edge. All right, now we're going to get into some NHL talk here and some Blackhawks talk uh, real quick before we sign off. Um, let's get into it, Joe. What we got? We got the Predators tonight. Okay. Um, Hawks. The big news of the Hawks, I think, right now, more than anything, one game we clinch a playoff spot. Yep. Have sixty points right now, more than anybody in the league. Um, Michael Hanzus coming in. I don't. I don't know the status. What do you know the status on Sharp? If he, or no, Bowl and Sharp didn't travel, right? They didn't travel yesterday. They travel yesterday, but they're close to coming. They're back. close to coming back, and Host is coming back. Host is back already. Host is back already, right? He came back in St. Louis. Yeah, that, that line, that, that line of of uh, T- Taser, Sad, and Hosa. It's an all-star lineup right there. Yeah, and Sad is unreal. Like oh, he's yeah. awesome. So, um, let me ask you this, Joe. Do you think does Chicago make it to the Stanley Cup this year? That's the big question everyone's got in their mind. I mean, let's just let's get to it. <laughs> they'll they'll. I don't want to say they will. Only because. They've lost um, a good amount of their games against Anaheim. Um, Anaheim is going to be a sleeper, I feel like, even though they're the second seed. Um, I don't know. It, they're they got to the Hawks got to get healthy in order to make the Stanley Cup, and they're going to have to they're going to have to start Razor. Ray, Ray Army's got to start. I'm sorry. Like yeah. as much as I, I, I don't get me wrong. I like Corey Crawford. He's a he's a really good goaltender. But I mean Ray Emery. I mean yesterday, like you know, with the shutout, he's 13 and one on the season. Like how can you pass that up? You know, and like and he took Ottawa to the Stanley Cup of yeah. like in 07, and they lost to the Ducks, I believe. Yeah. So, so it's like, you know, he, he's got to start. He he has to, and I. I've talked with my, you know, with a lot of people about this, and like I've talked with my roommate about this too. And he is, he's a really, he's a hockey guru. Like that's his favorite sport, and you know, he's telling me, you know, you guys got to start Ray. And and I was like, hold on a second here. Like Corey, Corey has done a lot for us. Like, I mean, look at last year against Vancouver. Like, you know, that's 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 two ho- years ago against Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like. You know he's he's done it. He's done it. You know very well for for the Hawks. It's just with Ray. Like how do you how do you pass up thirteen and one? Let's throw, let me throw a scenario at you though. Say they start. Say they don't start Ray. I mean, say they go with Crawford in the first series. Looks like right now with the standings the way they're at, they play Detroit in the first round, which would be tough. Say he lets up soft goals again, like he's done the past last year. For instance, and gets we get knocked out in the playoffs in the first round. Does he get? He, does he get run out of Chicago? No, Mark Offord. No, he he just signed a three year deal, so I feel like he'll he'll still be there. Um, if if they're going if they're going against Detroit, that's got to be that's an intriguing series because that's two games at Hockey Town right off the bat, <laughs> and. We all know well that, two games at home, yeah, and then two games. At yeah, two town. two games at home, and then two games at yeah. Hockey Town. Like, dude, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Detroit's going to be dangerous because at home during playoffs, they always are during playoffs. Yeah, I mean. it's it, it's it's a really 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 intriguing series. So I feel like the Hawks, the Hawks, like I don't know. Right now, I believe. Um, where did it go? Um, if they were to get the number, the number two, say they play Minnesota, I'd actually rather play Minnesota than Detroit right now. Yeah, I mean, they didn't, Minnesota really hasn't been in the playoffs, so yeah, that'd be that'd be an easy right. Easy and series. like they, you know, easier. I guess. And the Blues did beat the Red Wings today, yeah, on, on a one nothing shutout. But our boy Brian, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about the game um, when they played the Blues on Thursday? And me and Joe both—I mean, we both know Adam Cracknell, and he scored two goals. And we're like, 
It was a bittersweet game. To be it honest. was. We were like, I was. I didn't know how to react. I was like, Adam, hell yeah! And then I was like, Oh, oh no. no, yeah. <laughs> and like, it's the same thing. Like working with the Riverman, it's like, yeah, you want the Riverman to do well, but when they're playing the Ice Hawks, it's like, like last night, I was like, Ooh, br- there's Brandon Peary, and oh, there's Jimmy. Get it, Jimmy? Like, yeah. get it going. Like, it's like there's Jer- you know, there's Jeremy sitting, you know, skating on the ice. Jeremy like, too. Yeah, more. It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you want the Ice Hawks to win, but you, you're. You're with the Riverman. I feel like in sports, that's like the, that's really um, one of the most conflicting things you have to deal with is is rooting for another team. And it's just with Cracknell, I was, I was like, dude, Cracknell, Cracknell's playing, man. Like <laughs> the St. Louis, like that's 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 awesome. But it was against Chicago, so it's like I was like, oh, oh. shit, <laughs> I was like, oh man, like that sucks. Like as much as I want, as much as I wanted. Chicago to win. I was really happy for Cracknell to get his two goals because that's yeah. That's fantastic. I like the one they got on, Cro- on Crawford, the second one. Where yeah, he like yeah, that was a good play. So who do you? Okay, let's let's talk about it. Who do you see coming out of the West? We-